Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this Monday, Quoti stock has dropped more than 10% as it's released the latest earnings. And from that earnings, uh, it has missed the expectations in terms of revenue as the revenue has decreased uh, 3% versus the expectation would be a 4.5% of growth. But as for the EBITDA, it has grown more than 180 million when comparing with the same period last year, and it has achieved the uh, gross margin of 62%. Cody's earning is not looks that bad in my opinion, especially in this period of time that the market will you know, anticipate that uh, people will consume less makeup or skincare comparing with previously. So I think the reason market react negatively to Cody's reports is because of several bearish opinion and some risk associated with it. So the first reason is that as Cody's sales has decreased comparing with last year and comparing with its competitor like Lauder and L'Oreal, the operating margin of Cody is 39% and uh, the operation margin of L'Oreal is 56% and Estee Lauder is 45%. The reason that the competitors can have a higher operating margin is because they have a stronger brand, they have also better supplier negotiation power. And uh, some bearish opinion against Coty is that uh, the first is uh, their brand is not strong enough when comparing with the competitors, so that will result to Coty will not be able to charge a premium price and achieve a higher operating margin. The second opinion is that they don't have a better bargaining power with other distribution vendors, so that will result that their supply chain costs will be higher, and that will also lead to lower profit margin. And the third opinion is that uh, um, some analysts think that Coty likes to pay for a premium for its acquisition in the past several years. Uh, for example, in 2016, when Coty acquired 41 beauty brand from PNG, it has paid a premium of 14 billion. And uh, later on in 2020, it also acquired like 51% of Kylie Cosmetics as well as 20% of KKW Beauty. So analysts think they paid uh, for a premium for these assets. So that would make the balance sheet not look so good and make the business a highly leveraged one. And also in recent years, in order to acquire more customers, uh, Cody has acquired a part of Kylie Cosmetics and they want to use this celebrity effect to increase their brand awareness. But a lot of analysts feels like those celebrity facts may be very short and uh, easy to come and go and uh, it brings a lot of uncertainties to the company's future sales. So that's why I saw that a lot of analysts would be very cautious about the stock and uh, they, uh, they would con concern about all types of the risk associated with it. But at the current moment, I still have some bullish opinion about the coding stock. As a lot of investors think Cody stock is a cigar butt, but I have some different opinions to that. The first one is that the latest quarter sales is still in the period of pandemic where a lot of people working from home, they wear masks. So the downside of the beauty sales, I think it's reasonable, including uh, less makeup, skincare and fragrance. But since majority of the people are gradually get vaccinated and uh, some cities announced that they are going back to normal in July and people are gradually go back to office. So I would anticipate that the sales of makeup and other beauty products will going up. The second one is that uh, in this earnings release, their CEO Sunabi has announced that they would have roll out some new product this summer, including Kylie's new uh, Kylie's new makeup product as well as Gucci Snow makeup. I think that's also a trigger for some customers to purchase those beauty products. In my opinion, the purchase of a lot of 
beauty product is really emotional and the customers just need a trigger. So the trigger can include in, uh, number one is that the company has launched new products so that people want to try it out and taste the difference. Second one is that they have some celebrities or KOL is promoting the product so it makes it very interesting and become a social event that makes a lot of people want to try it. The third trigger is that a lot of people are back to work and they find that their makeup at home has expired so they need to stock up some new ones. So these factors can also contribute to higher sales in the next quarter. And the third bullish opinion is that I saw Gucci has been promoting their prestige products in China. Although there's a lot of competition in Chinese beauty market, including the brands from American, from Japan, Korea, and also Chinese local companies like the YSG stock I also introduced before. But I think in this prestige beauty category, Coty would have some advantage because this company has more than 100 years history. And I think the brand power associated with the creativity and the history and also the culture behind the brand. So I feel like Western brands have a higher chance to penetrate more in the Chinese market, especially the prestige beauty, because those beauty brands have a longer history, they have more stories to tell, and they have more creativity, and they have an exotic feeling to the local Chinese customers. Especially if you can imagine that in China after 1994, uh, the door is open, a lot of international business opportunities appear in China, and Chinese consumers see a lot of different things. They would find it very interesting. It's something that they've never seen before. So that's why I feel like Cody do have a better chance to excel in the Chinese market. And last but not least, I saw a lot of analysts that they are concerning about the competition with other big beauty conglomerate like Estee Lauder and L'Oreal. In my opinion, the beauty industry is very different from uh, like technology industry. In technology industry, Google can be a monopoly because Google's technology is the best, so everyone is using it and then Google has more data and its technology will be better. So it's very hard for some new companies to start up their uh, searching business and they would uh, exceed Google. And also another example is Tesla. Tesla, I will find it's the best auto driving technology in the world. So other companies, if they have just a L2 or L3, it's obviously in the technology part, Tesla is better. So for the consumers who are emphasize on the auto driving part, they of course is gonna choose Tesla versus other competitors. But I think beauty industry is different because it's very personal. For example, my skin is not very good, so I need to purchase foundation product. But on the other side, my friend has perfect skin, so she don't need foundation product at all, no matter how good the product is. Another example is that I really like fragrance A and my friend really like fragrance B. The smell of the fragrance is very different and it's very hard for me to persuade my friend to say, oh, fragrance A is best. So my point here is that no matter Estee Lauder or L'Oreal, of course they have bigger market cap comparing with Coty, but the reason why they cannot become monopoly is that different people has different preference. Maybe some product I really like, it will not the same case that will like by my friend. So that's why I think even though other competitors may have some advantage, I think Coty still have chance to excel in this circumstance. So overall, I'm still bullish about Coty stock. Uh, so previously I sold my stock around $9. I, I saw that the stock has dropped uh, this week around $8. So my ideal purchase price will around $7 in this case. Although the company doesn't have a PE ratio because of the earnings per share is negative, but we can see from the PS ratio that 
the current PS is 1.93 and it's um, below the index which is around 3.07 so I think um, although Cody has grown a lot in the past year but the stock price is not that super expensive and be considering the risk associated with the industry when the stock drop around seven dollars I will start to buy back the stock again so yeah that's some updates about Cody stock. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!